Yes, I used the dual mating, uh, both in P plus for a while. Uh, but Calvar, uh, number uh, 62 in the world. Um, oh, just coming in raw with that F smash. You gotta let him know early. Yeah, and that's a that's a tough first off for Silver, yeah. but. That swings happen so quickly in this matchup that I feel like you kind of just have to brush it off. Yeah, speaking of swings, we're seeing a lot of them here from Calvar. <laughs> really. Yeah, and well, that double sign's get... big. Puts Mark off stage oh. in an awkward spot. Oh, can't get to Legend time though. I love the idea. Yeah, the problem is just he was a little too slow, and then he got punished for it. And now yeah. he's taking all this percent. Alright, he got there enough to follow up Calvar wanted, so we managed to get the slide off. Now we're in an awkward spot here. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh! I mean... Yeah, sacrifices his body to get the kill. I, I, I don't think that's exactly what, what David wanted, but... I think Mark can do that back air off ledge without dying. Fair enough, you're still off the stock, game one. I mean, you still gotta feel pretty good. Yeah, for sure. Not the worst spot for something like that to happen. I also have a li ah, I'm a little surprised I went to Fountain game one, but... Yeah, um... This might be one of the matchups where the the change to um, FD counterpick and Frozen Stadium starter really uh, True. changes how they start things out. Mark not wanting to go to Dreamland, uh, Fox... I don't know, maybe avoiding Battlefield, Yoshi's... Because I just imagine the stage is generally better for Marth. Um, just from like, you know, the the platforms when they're gone become almost like a mini FD, and like, it's s taller and smaller on the sides. Like, that's all good for Marth. Yeah, absolutely. Marth not really getting many kills off the top. Fox is getting a lot of kills off the top. Oh. That being said, Ledge Dash up smash gets the kill. Oh, so Calvar just waits. The yeah. Ledge Dash was invincible, but the, the little run for it after was not. Silver living to some great percents here, though. Let's see if we can get any more mileage off this stock. Is it Calvar? <laughs> He's just jabbing. Get there. Yeah, really smart, closing the gap, shielding that get up attack. Crouch cancels the shine, stops him from going off stage, and now Silver's the one at the corner. Oh, might have missed an L cancel after that there. And right now, it just looks hard for Silver to get in. Like, Calvar is just throwing out all these hitboxes, and it feels like Silver just. It's hard to get in. Yeah. And Calvar's doing a good job minimizing the damage, too. The opening Silver has gotten this stuff. A lot of just, like, single nares and not much else. Oh wow, oh, what, damn. what a very interesting spot to do an up air. Yeah. And honestly, like, it's not that unreasonable for, like, Silver to, you know, get a quick one right here. No, this is anybody's game. Oh, oh not, now not he won't be there. Oh, that's rough. Yeah. I wonder if he thought that he was either going to snap the ledge or he thought he was further from the stage that Kelmar wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe the snap, but this did not drift close enough. Or pull the trigger a little early. Yeah, well, Yoshi's, I feel like that makes sense. I mean, uh, Calvar was just doing a better job walling him out. Less space, you can kill Mark a little bit earlier. Oh my god. Yeah, one thing I definitely did see from Silver in that last game was... <laughs> <laughs> What an insane follow-up takes that suck nice and early. Yeah, Silver so was definitely not afraid to force the issue that last game and just uh, keep going in there. And Yoshi's a stage where you don't want to do a lot of work to close the distance. You're playing in close quarters. Yeah, he's just applying pressure. Like and the thing is, now that there's less space, it's working a little better. Yeah, absolutely. Because Mark might have that range, but you know when you're up close and personal, Fox. Boxes a lot of the faster moves in the longer last oh. hitboxes. Damn, and that's just a full stop right there. And now and now we're back to the walling. Oh, but so we oh. got it. 
Yeah. I thought maybe down smash after that uh, attack, but it goes to the down tail, it doesn't quite get the follow up. Oh, so Silver's just trying to get an up smash right now, but Calvert's waiting for it. Yeah, it can't be quite that antsy. Wait out the spot dodge. Oh, has no jump here. Oh, oh hit him with his own up smash. Alright, alright. Calvar doesn't quite clean up that edge guard. He needs a bear for it. Oh, -ho. close. Yeah, okay, that should be a stock. And if Calvar wins this game, I mean, you gotta win two games on FD to win the set if you're silver. That's tough. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely one you need to make things a little more reasonable for yourself. But this is going to be some big damage from Mark here, these Yoshi's platforms. He does get off ledge, but only for a moment. Surprised that didn't tip her. I'll feed right at him. Silver so, so looking at just a little more antsy now, not really, not really moving as cleanly. Even yeah. when he gets out of these combos. It feels like a lot of the stuff that Calvar's throwing out, uh, Silver's just getting hit. Yeah. Calvar looking good though right now. Very strong. Even more good showings from New Hampshire. <laughs> some more, some more New Hampshire talent. Silver with a mountain to climb oh now, but that God. is a great start. Just an absolutely free stock to begin the game. Perfect double shine catches Marth doing. I'm actually double jump you don't want to do. <laughs> I like this counter pick from Silver, um, mainly because like now he can kind of use the platforms. Maybe play the game that Calvar's been playing a little bit. You know, wait him out a little bit. Okay, you know, if Calvar starts throwing out hitboxes, you can just retreat the platform. Yeah, yeah. He he tried the you know close quarters counter pick keep the space low on Yoshi's, and, and Calvar started to dominate him at that game. Now he's giving himself more space to maneuver. Oh my god, what are... Is, is that the second one in a row where the LP just, like, he did a reverse by accident? Yeah, I believe so. I think it's trying to hit that, like, straight up up B, not too angled forward, because it's very close to the pineapple in both of those situations. This is the input slightly. Yeah. This is not what I expected from our game three, I'll be quite honest. No. Does manage to take a stock, put Silver in a strong position to at least force a game four here. Then he can try his hand at FD. He shines in the corner, really getting a lot of mileage. Just yeah. Putting and keeping Marth off stage. But honestly, oh wait, how do you, oh, what? Alright, Silver avoids like three iterations of that gimp, but he's still getting put off stage. Yeah, but now Calvar has a, you know, a tech chase going. Alright, wow. that tech match is going to kill him. This game is not over yet by any means. Calvar hanging out on ledge for the duration of Fox's invincibility. And why wouldn't you? And this is definitely, I mean, even if, if you're a Calvar, even if, like, you still lose this game, you basically showed after those first few stocks, all right, yeah, I'm back in it again. Like, yeah, it, the, the, the tide of the set has, the tide of the set has not changed completely just because uh, Silver got off to a dominant start that game. I think Calvar definitely showed that there. And are we, I would imagine FD, right? It looks like he's deliberating. Battlefield. Interesting. Wait, did... Oh, no, I guess they... Uh, yeah, they play. started on Fallon. No, yeah. they went to the OCs, so... Uh, Battlefield hasn't been used. Um, I, I, I'm not surprised by the idea of Calvar doing an unorthodox stage pick in general. He definitely has some unique opinions about Marth's matchups <laughs> and, and stage spreads and stuff, but this one in particular, not what I was expecting. I mean, I've seen him do it before, but I thought 
I don't know. I thought in recent memory, maybe I'm thinking wrong, that he's been doing more FD and more working on that chain grab. Yeah. But yeah, that's a dead box right there. <laughs> and just walling out with bears. I mean, yeah. And that last recovery was one that was made easier by Fox not having the option to wall ride, so maybe Calvar onto something with his counterfeit. <laughs> He's miles ahead. Uh, up there, he's gonna close it out. I like the roll behind shine, but that always just, I find that so funny. I don't know why. Oh, true. Not, not the place you want to get popped up. Very quick combo to end it there. Really nice grab. Oh, Marth in an awkward oh, spot here. What? Oh, that trade is great. Damn. Wow. A little bit of a scary spot, but the result is exactly what you want. And honestly, this is looking pretty good, like, for Silver compared to the end of that last game. Like, he's looking solid. Yeah, I I cannot tell which way this is going to go right now. Both players hitting hard, yeah. playing good neutral. Uh, Silver's the one forcing the issue at the moment. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Marth does not land, even though Silver was a little antsy on that up smash, and still managed to clean it out with the down smash right after. Yeah, that was super smart to catch the Marth uh, coming back from an aerial. Yep. Oh, I thought he'd be up there on that platform. Yeah, right. smart. And Fox get down here. I really like that he went to top platform, because Marth can't get a big punish off that. Ooh, Kavar tries to end it quick with the dare. Maybe not the move he, he should have been going for because it managed to put back put Fox back on stage. Oh what? Oh that is just enough. Oh, that was At crazy. 92 percent A little reminiscent of the fair up smash from Slox on Shmila I said ago. This yeah. one this one actually just straight up comboing. Catches him holding in. Damn, and just like that, it is game five. It is game five, yeah, and now, now Calvar has got a decision. Do we go with the more traditional counter pick? And yes, we take it right to FD after a bit of thought. But Silver, I mean, Silver has this momentum, but Marth has the grab. Yeah. Now the question is, what can he do with it? Silver strikes me as a player who would um, have a very strong punish game of his own on this stage, but uh, Calvar is the one with the first big opening that game and takes it straight to the house. I believe I saw Silver beat Clutch here earlier. So definitely no stranger to the stage. Yeah, I mean, Calvar starting with four stocks, Silver starting with three. It's going to be a little <laughs> tough from here. Yeah, really um, not the most fair rule set, but... <laughs> oh, and yeah. Damn. Yeah, and this is tough. <laughs> David is holding, in, holding down in center stage right now. And oh. Shepard is not sure what to do. This is getting out of hand quick. Yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Dare was, was a little bit of a flex there. Not oh. sure what the idea was. <laughs> uh, trying to read an angle down two ledge with that down smash does not get it. Ends up looking interesting. I'm glad Silver's still playing right now, though, like, that, you know, he hasn't just given up. Yeah, I mean, if you think about uh, what happened uh, with Calvar on Dreamland in Game 3, he managed to bring that back. Maybe Silver can do the same here, make it make it a competition. Exactly. Yeah, One more shot here. No. Damn, yeah, I mean... Alright, looking, you know, looking pretty good right now. Yeah, just he's getting a little something started, but every percent you take is big. He's now he's just gonna get popped up a little harder, can't really CC much. Okay, Marth has no jump here. Oh, oh that not... weak bear on the stage is not what he wanted, but he's keeping it going. Alright, Marth killer. Yeah, that'll do it. This is by no means over. It's a, a hill to climb for sure, but it's not a mountain anymore. Oh, I was about to say, you just can't get grabbed. 
Oh, shit. Oh, I thought maybe he overextended a little too much. Oh, I catches him rolling in. Alright, this. Oh, 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 what a good follow up. Sever really has to get down here. He barely does it. Okay, has Marth in the air. Where do you want him? No jump. Oh, yeah. Not dead yet, but did he, did he land? He landed, but there's the jump again. Oh, he was so close to cleaning up that stock. I didn't know Silver had gotten the jump back there. Alright, you need to clean this up now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's no, not it! Oh, the DS. What? Oh, there okay. it is, yeah. <laughs> oh, really, really great job from both players. Calva keeping his composure, closing it out. But we did really have a repeated Dreamland where the game got got a little bit closer before.